Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and uh, this is George and what we're going to do is we're actually going to revamp our entire aviary. Uh, Papa the Builder built this a long time ago and it looks really nice but it's really not very functional so we've got we've to do a lot of different stuff to it. So this has been empty for quite some time and you can see here you know the predators just cut right through this bite right through it and uh, so we haven't really been able to put anything out here so what we've decided to do is we're going to put our chickens our rabbits and pigeons all in here but we've got to revamp the whole thing uh, so what we're going to be doing is we actually bought uh, coated black wire and uh, we're going to put this on the outside of the aviary and we're gonna it only goes up to what is it five foot four so foot four foot four yeah, foot, four foot roll. Uh, we're not too worried about the rest of it um, everything will be locked up at night so the pigeons will have their coop at night um, the chickens will have an, uh, a, a chicken coop on the outside that has an automatic door the rabbits will not be on the ground they're gonna be in cages uh, so we're not too worried about night. We just want to want to control the top part of it So that's what we're gonna do today and then we're actually going to be moving a ton of animals around So we'll show you that in just a second. Uh, so let's get started Yeah Alright, so we got one side done and uh, you can see here you really can't tell the difference between the netting and the, the wire if you're standing back here which is kind of nice. So we stapled that in and then we tacked it as well. I've got to cut this off here and then George is currently working on the back which is going to be the worst part of it. And uh, we're going to make this aviary looking real nice in the next couple of weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. But we've got to go in between this fence line here. As you can tell, is very narrow. And, and then we've got a forest back here that we've got to cut out as well. So we're going to be working on that. And then uh, we'll move on to the next project. All right, so obviously the inside needs a ton of work, but the entire outside is completely done. Uh, George and I and Jenna came down and uh, we got the entire, well, it's four foot all the way around. We got all this completely done and it's about lunchtime, which is nice. So the next step is we've got to move all the animals and I'll show you why in just a few minutes, but the emus are actually going to go in here temporarily. Uh, which should make for a funny video, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so we moved the uh, feeder and water, and now it's time to wrestle some emus. Hopefully. So, <laughs> hopefully. We've got a couple different ideas. We're gonna try one at a time and see how it works. Either it's gonna be a success and we're geniuses, or you can laugh at us a lot. But uh, we're gonna try to corral some emus, so here we go. Maddie, why don't you come hold this side up for me? Both of them. You guys make a mess. There you go. You got, I got to reset. Yeah. Okay. Get it nice and close. Mm -hmm. He wants to go home. I'm going to be honest. Come on, Blue. Turn around. 
Is that blue? I think so. No, that's not. There we go. Oh, now I can push them along. Yeah, let me uh, reset so we can make it tighter. I'm just not telling her. Come on, boy. Yeah. And Peter won't yell at us. <laughs> So, one emu done, four more to go, but I think that went pretty smooth. So we'll just keep doing it. Okay, so we've got five emus. We moved three of them, but we've got Queen Daenerys left and she's, she's a little hateful. So we're doing it old school. So we've got a whole big long pile you can kind of see here and then we've got the gate and a fence here and I backed up our old van and we're gonna throw her in here and have her take a drive so uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be hilarious so we're gonna video it. Now we're gonna take a we're gonna take a drive. pie so we did get all the emus in and uh, 
I'll try to open this for just a second. So this is their temporary residence. We haven't used this aviary for quite some time, but uh, hopefully they'll eat a lot of grass and they'll be happier in here because they were with the pigs for a while. Uh, but you know, we've got a feeder and a water in here and we've got a lot of stuff to do in here, but we got to reseed and I'll show you why we're doing all this, um, which hopefully will help you manage your farmstead because we're learning our mistakes now. So what we're going to do is go show you where they were and why we're going to change it all. I got to get that hose up too. So I didn't do a video on it, but I should have done a video on us putting this uh, parking pad in last week. It makes it look a lot nicer. So So we put this fence up last year and we put the emus in then we decided to get the pigs and we put them together because we didn't know where else to put them. But the pigs have absolutely destroyed the entire place. In fact, there's a, there's a pig now. That's Duke. So we've got all this. So what we're gonna do is since I'm going on vacation this weekend uh, to Homesteaders of America, we're gonna leave everybody in here. But once we're done, we're actually going to take down this fence or part of it and let all the Cooney Coonies uh, range in this back field way back there and see if they'll stay back there. Uh, so hopefully they won't destroy all this. And then if they can, then we are going to put the fence back up and reseed all of this and then put Duke, which is our breeder male, uh, in this big lot until we're ready to to breed the pigs. So um, That's that but then I don't know if you saw Jack and Jill those, those are our goats right there So They were a little easier to move today, but they were up here Which I'll show you I kind of started another video But I'll show you kind of what was going on our goats and our baby pigs were up here in this front field, or well, front area, and uh, they just destroyed the front yard. And I thought it'd be cute to see the emus. So, well, there's a dog. So, we'll come up and and show you what we're all doing, and then uh, and then we started another video, which we'll keep doing videos, and hopefully, we'll have this new fence up next week and we can post the next video which will be kind of exciting so we've got all the supplies it's just a time time issue and look at that maddie's maddie's about to ride her horse all right so i feel like i'm just not walking fast enough for you all right here we go so I asked, I should have, well, long story short, there was a fence line. You can kind of see where the fence was. I took that out today and between the goats and the pigs, they pretty much destroyed this entire area. But uh, what we're gonna do is we've got horse stalls in this garage here. And uh, so we're gonna put up a real nice fence along here. We're gonna reseed it and let the emu stay in the aviary until it's grassed out. And uh, and then on the back of this garage, we're gonna open up. We put a little hole in there for the goats to get out. We blocked it up because there's some baby pigs in there. But we're gonna raise the, raise the door up to about here and then the emus can get in and out. And then they'll have all of this and you can see this is our driveway it's about a quarter of a mile long but uh, when you first come in this is kind of the first thing you see and uh, you'll be able to see a bunch of emus when you show up which is kind of cool so the emus will go here in the aviary where we were just at chickens rabbits and pigeons will be in there and then uh, and then in the back, hopefully we'll let the Cooney Coonies 
graze and they won't destroy the entire back field and they'll be with the, the uh, cows and then uh, the goats will be with the pigs and the cows and the horse and then uh, everything will start looking a lot nicer so we just we didn't have things where they should have went unfortunately but that's the start so hopefully you like the video we've got another video about putting up this new fence and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that next so we'll see you next time thanks everybody